Hello, and welcome to the Daily Decrypt, episode 21. I am your faithful host, Amanda. Today, Bitcoin is $350. Dogecoin is one ten thousandth of one cent. Newbits is 99 cents. And Bitcoin Dark is $1.24. Today's episode is brought to you by Fuck Up Nights. Yeah. In crypto news, Cointelegraph reports that Patrick Lanhead has become the first person to make a biopayment using Bitcoin, or at least the first person to film himself doing so. Patrick's right hand is embedded with an 888-byte microchip which contains his Bitcoin private keys. Patrick scanned his hand using a near-field communication device and successfully sent a payment. Patrick, however, is not the first person to implant his private keys within his body, as the first reports of doing that came out more than a year ago. In more crypto news, ProTip version 1 has been released today. As you may remember from another Daily Decrypt episode, this Chrome browser extension can be used to make automatic weekly Bitcoin payments to the content creators on the web whom you visit most. Anyone can become compatible to receive tips through ProTip by just pasting a Bitcoin address anywhere on their web page. Early adopters of the software, like the Bitcoin Art Gallery, are reporting that version 1 works as expected. A Redditor who attends college has posted that he's writing a research paper on cryptocurrencies to be presented at his school. Help a kid out and take his 10-question survey about crypto usage. The link is posted below. In the rare intersection between crypto and art news, Coindesk has reported that an art troupe called Okaus has created an electronic flower which performs for Bitcoin. They're calling it a plantoid, and it's programmed to do things like bloom with colors and lights, or even reproduce, if and when it receives enough in tips. The Okaus team is currently storing the plantoid in Paris, while they look for a better place to help it, quote, perform its function of providing beauty and collecting money. In crypto gaming news, newcomer gambling site Chopcoin celebrated their three-month anniversary yesterday with a tournament and Bitcoin giveaways. Chopcoin is a game in which players attempt to eat one another, as well as pieces of food, the food being small bits of cryptocurrency. The last player standing at the end of the carnage wins all the crypto. Chopcoin supports play with dozens of cryptocurrencies through its use of the Shapeshift API. In gadgetry news, TechDirt reports that a hobbyist device called RATS, the radio transceiver system, allows users to chat and send messages without having to connect to the internet. RATS is a small antenna which connects to a regular laptop via USB. How does it work? The user writes a message on their laptop, the RATS device receives and encrypts it, and then the device sends it out via radio signal. RATS is expected to be especially useful during emergency situations like a power outage, as it can still send messages as long as the laptop it's reading from has battery life. It's also expected to be useful for those seeking greater information security, allowing them to communicate outside the internet. In Opportunity News, there it is again, Opportunity News, LiveCoding.tv is a site where you can watch developers write programs in real time. The site was created with two purposes. One, to provide free education to those seeking to better their programming skills. And two, to provide exposure to developers looking to create a name for themselves. The site is free to use and features developers coding in more than 10 languages. And check out this telling news rack, which was spotted at Barnes & Noble. And special thanks to our sponsor. Fuck Up Nights, or FUN, is a monthly event held in over 100 cities around the world where people get together to share their stories of failed projects. FUN was started in Mexico City and is celebrating its third anniversary this month and looking to expand. So if you live in or near Brisbane, Australia, and are looking to tell your failure story, contact Matthew at abolitionhour at riseup.net. Cheers! Yeah. Yeah.